have a good time. Everyone was really, really passionate about the music and the drums were loud, the singers were loud. So Everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy. This is only the third show of the tour, so we're warming up still. So each night we're picking up more and more momentum. Very nice. We had the best time tonight so far. It's been awesome. People were excited. Who's your hero, Megan? I would have to say maybe uh, Diane Sfrain and uh, Françoise Hardy. But my mom, maybe. She quit smoking when she's 60 years old and she smoked since she was nine. So. Uh, my, my hero is Mike Simonetti. What do you hate? I hate the, 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 just the act of obscuring the truth. Probably the only thing I really hate is myself. John, I'm serious. Disrespect. <laughs> What does night mean for you? What's night? Night? Uh, I was born at night. Night is when I wake up and feel inspired to create. Uh, night is when the roof comes off of the sky. Qu'est-ce que c'est la nuit pour toi? C'est pas la nuit, c'est euh, c'est romantique, c'est calme. Tu peux choisir de danser toute la nuit ou dormir toute la nuit ou faire l'amour toute la nuit. C'est. Et euh, le jour? Le jour, ben, on travaille, on essaie de se lever tôt, on marche le chien, on... Uh, time to go to sleep. So day is when the sun's energy comes in, it's very yang, very active. What's your favorite drug? Uh, caffeine. Oh, oxygen. Les six premiers mois de l'amour. You're just like giving a tour in Europe. What do you miss more? Um, being able to work in the studio or just have, be have time alone. I guess going for long walks by myself and being able to sleep when I want. Et toi, qu'est-ce qui te manque le plus? Euh, ma copine Shelby, aller prendre des marches avec mon chien Yvonne. Do you have like a story about something crazy that happened on stage? Well, back a long time ago, the stage for us used to be the living room floors of people's houses. And so um, at one crazy show in Philadelphia, yeah. <laughs> um, everyone at the party all just at the same time all piled on top of him. And when they all got up, he had like, uh, he couldn't breathe and his guitar was broke in half. They cracked my rib with a steel guitar neck, broken in half, like right here. And then we were like, I thought I was, my neck was gonna break. I was like, oh shit. And then, <laughs> and then they realized the next day, you know, after the show, that this apartment was above an insurance office and the whole ceiling of the insurance office when they came in in the morning had all like cr uh, crumbled. Thank you, Belgium. We love you.